Hello everybody. Um, this is your girl, Her Destiny, coming to you on this Thursday evening. It is July 12th. I thank you for tuning in. Um, please like, um, share, and subscribe. I would gladly appreciate it. Hope you've been staying cool today. It is very hot once again all over the land. Uh, this summer is going by really fast, which is a good thing. So the kids can rush on back to school where they belong. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have any young ones, so I'm good. Uh, once again, I'm here to talk about relationships as usual. Um, most of the topics that I get, that I choose to talk about, I get from either people I talk to, uh, my girlfriend, uh, soul chicks, um, TV documentaries, programs, you name it. Uh, they're from all sources all over the place. And today, my topic is about happiness. Now, we know that it's better in most cases to have someone in our lives um, to enjoy it with someone special, someone we call a soulmate. And uh, today, I ran into someone and they seemed so very sad. And I was like, well, what is the matter? You're such a pretty lady. You're beautiful. Uh, you should feel beautiful. And you should be smiling. Even though we know every day is different, and some days there's really not a whole lot to smile about. But she always seems so sad. And then she was telling me, she said, well, it's that man of mine. And I hear that so often from so many sisters, you know, of, from all walks of life, that they're unhappy because they chose the wrong person, the wrong mate. And I've been there, you know. But what I was trying to tell her was, there was a time that you were happy. That you was a happy woman. And you have to go back to that time and think about that time. And think about, did you really need someone to make you happy at that time? You have to think different about happiness. And whether or not you need someone to um, share in your happiness or not. There's one thing to have someone there that you have made or gave the power to be your soulmate that um, joins in and is happy with you. There's another thing for someone who you've given that power to just destroy your happiness altogether. To turn your what was once a smile into a big old frown now. And sometimes the choices we make uh, put us in bad situations. And um, this was not the first time I heard a uh, female say this, that their mate was making them very unhappy. And I once again say to her, you have to be happy within yourself first. No one has the power to make you happy. Let's get that straight first. Once you realize that, then you just determine if that person is worth it. If, is it worth having that person in your life if they're not contributing to your happiness? And if they're making you so miserable that you don't even or can't even smile anymore. We all get lonely sometimes and we all want someone to be there. But sometimes we as women, we do choose the wrong mate just to fill that void. But I am here to tell you, I have found out through experience, it is better to be alone than to be with the wrong person in your life. And like I said in a previous video, it's one thing if you come home uh, to a lonely apartment or a lonely house, you can turn your TV on or read a book. You can do just about anything. But if you're coming home to a person in your home, in your surroundings, that is making you miserable and making you sad, that's just got to be the worst. I have been there and I uh, straightened that out right away. 
I mean, it took a minute, but the whole point is we only have this one night. We only have this one night, and it actually goes by so fast. My mom used to always tell me life was short, and I'm like, well, no, it's not. But I was just a young teenager uh, then. I'm um, in my 50s now, and I'm like, life is um, going by really, really fast. I don't know where all the years went. And now, actually, it's been at least the last 15 years I decided to make some changes and to make sure that I was happy. Whom I was with uh, was a part of that happiness. Or if they wasn't going to be a part of my happiness, they had to go. But we had to separate from each other. And uh, that is what I wanted to pass on to her, to get her smile back. And to any of you ladies out there that have lost your smile, try to get your smile back. It may be hard. Uh, it's a difficult road sometimes uh, once you let somebody get or have that much power over your happiness um, to get it back. But it's never too late to make a, a new, fresh start and to wake up every morning glad to be alive and uh, thankful to be alive and uh, to wake up with no negativity. Get that negativity out of your life. Get it out quickly. You live a much better life without it. And it is better once, like I said, it is better to be alone. Find a book to read. Go for walks uh, on the beach. Um, ride a bicycle. There's so much you can do. Walk, um, Take a walk, a stroll through the mall. There is so much more you can do. Don't let a man depend on your true happiness in life. Find your happiness first. Find yourself and what you need. And then focus on the man. Don't go looking for one. If there's one out there that's meant for you, that's good for you, he will walk right up on you and you won't even know it. And we're not talking about those fast talking um, um, gigolos. That's what my mama used to call them. Anyway, here's wishing all you ladies a great evening. Um, like I say, don't let anyone um, take your smile. Or if they have taken your smile, try to get your smile back. And just tell them they can get rocks. And we know you can't tell all men anything. You can't tell. You have to, It depends on his personality and what type of man he is. Can he handle the truth? Because we know some men can't handle the truth. Anyway, do your best to get your smile back. This is what I told uh, this sister girl earlier. Get your smile back. Because that is all you have in the, in the end. This is your life. Don't let anybody come in and control uh, your happiness. Many blessings to you all. Thank you for tuning in to um, Her Destiny. I will be talking to you again at a later date. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings. See you next time.